Welcome back. This is our community resource section, and tonight it's the Refuge Clinic. And my guest is Miss Rachel Smith, who is the executive director, and you're an RN with the Refuge That's Clinic. That's correct, yes. So tell me, what is the Refuge Clinic? So the Refuge Clinic is a nonprofit organization that provides free medical, dental, and behavioral health services to those that are uninsured or underinsured in our community. We serve Jesmond and Fayette County, and we provide all our services through um, volunteers. So we have over 100 volunteer healthcare providers, doctors, dentists, psychiatrists, counselors, all that are volunteering their time so that they can care for people that are often on the fringes of the healthcare system that lack access to care. Now you have one location, two locations? Two locations. We partner with the health department in Jesmond County, and then we have a location that is um, off of Richmond Road. Okay, so do you, how do you access the clinic? Do you have to be a certain uh, income level? Do you have to be a, I mean, tell, tell us how to, how to be part of the refuge clinic. Sure, absolutely. We, we love patients. We love taking on new patients. Um, to be able to uh, use the resources of the clinic, you have to be um, uninsured or underinsured, a resident of Fayette or Jasmine County, and living at 200% federal poverty guidelines. Okay, so how many people do you serve? Well, since um, opening our doors in 2008, we've taken on the care of over 5,000 patients, men and women that are uninsured or underinsured. Now, I, I know you said you, you get emotional when you talk about patients, but, but tell me some, some of the patients that you take care of, because you're pretty attached to them. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, we're so humbled by, um, by the patients that we get to partner with. Honestly, we call what we do relational health care because we consider it um, exactly that. It's a relationship, it's a partnership, it's a friendship between healthcare providers and, and patients. And so it's really our, um, our great honor to be able to walk alongside and encourage people because often um, people have been, you know, find themselves in a place where um, they've been discouraged or they've, you know, kind of been told like, hey, this doesn't, you're outside of the system, it doesn't work. Um, and so in those moments when people are really vulnerable and they need health care, it's really great to be able to look at them and say, hey, we love you, we care for you, and it's our honor to serve you. So how, if people want to get involved, mm -hmm. do you take money, you take volunteers, tell me. Yeah, we love partnership. Um, so there's different ways to partner. If you want to be a financial partner, you can go to our website um, and um, everything is through donation. So we always, you know, appreciate that support. But we also really love volunteers. We always need more providers. And it doesn't have to be just someone in the healthcare arena. We also take um, people that could volunteer and answer phones, front desk, administrative. So if anyone's interested in volunteering, they can go to our website, refugeclinic.org. Um, and then they can find information on how to volunteer. There's an application there. Um, and we love to partner with people that are like-minded and have the same heart and purpose. Now, you also kind of mentioned it is medical care, but you also, there are barriers to medical care that you can address that are not just illness. Yes, absolutely. Um, honestly, that's a big part of what we do too. There's a multidisciplinary team. So it's not just, you know, healthcare um, with a dentist and a doctor and, um, um, you know, mental health provider. It's also wraparound services with a social worker. So there might be barriers of transportation or language, things like that, that keep people from getting care. And so we really work hard to partner with our patients to kind of be able to address those barriers. Okay, now you say healthcare providers, and you're, you're probably talking to me. I am and, talking to you. And talking to me <laughs> and other physicians and nurses out there, you, you could use them to help. We honestly could. I mean, right now, you know, there's probably about 50,000 in, um, in Lexington, Fayette County that are uninsured or underinsured. And honestly, the need is greater than what we can meet. And so the more that we have volunteers, people that partner with us, the more that we can do. And so anytime someone's interested and wants to serve in that way, we get really excited to say, oh, we want to provide that opportunity for you to utilize, you know, your special giftings to be able to serve and do health care in a way that really speaks to a person um, in a way that helps them kind of access care in whenever they're not able to. Great information. Great work. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. And thanks to all my guests tonight. And if you would like to watch this episode again or past episodes, you can access them at Family Practice Associates website at fpalex.com. Go to Patient Resources, Patient Education, and the YouTube channel. Again, thank you for watching. Tune in next month for more great healthcare information on Family Practice.